Hey guys, so one thing that I will say is that you should be very careful where you put money into. Stocks have been doing really well. Crypto has been doing well, relatively speaking. And I don't really see any reason to invest in a TCG. Now, if you do invest in a TCG, I'm going to use one piece as an example. Everything could be great. And then one day, the rug gets pulled under you, and you realize that it was just price manipulation. So unlike, theoretically, the stock market and the bond market, and even the real estate market, which are considered traditional investments, you do have a lot of, let's call it hanky-panky going on in the sports card, magic, Pokemon, uh, even, and especially newer card games like MetaZoo. These, in my opinion, are not investments because there's so much price manipulation, pumps and, pump and dumps, and I do believe this set was pumped and dumped. Uh, and at the end of the day, Bandai, they just want to make money. You saw with Magic the Gathering, once they realize how much money is left on the table, they will definitely be interested and force the issue. The issue being, hey, I want to make as much money as I can. I notice my card game on the secondary market is charging three, four times more than I am. Why don't I just print some more? That's the same issue with Disney Locana, right? You have a lot of reprinting and even Magic the Gathering. They, they, if a set is successful, they will just reprint the same cards and just call it, you know, Modern Horizons 2, Modern Horizons 3, and then Modern Horizons 4, and so on as we go on and on and on. I don't really view cards as like if you enjoy cards. I love, you know, I'm playing Weiss a lot now, and we have uh, free boxes of Spy X Family US. We're having a blast. I should probably upload this video. We're having a blast opening the, these boxes. Um, they're really, really fun to open. Um, but do I consider them an investment? Hell no. Would I be like, oh, everyone should sit on? No, 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 no. I My mindset, because the stock market is so good right now, I get it if, like, the stock market sucks. I get it if crypto sucks, right? Which is a riskier asset. But they don't. I mean, my stocks went from 520,000 to 688. I'll tell you about this one stock I have. It's called Diamond Offshore Unlimited. It, it literally bankrupt during COVID. And it went up 10% today. It's like, wait, what? How the hell is this thing making money? So I, I don't know. You know, I, I don't pay super close attention to it. I basically chuck money at the S&P 500. Hope for the best uh, and keep my fingers crossed, right? At the end of the day, that is a much more liquid and a much more, in my opinion, better investment in terms of it going up in price. So you might love your waifus, and I do. You know, I'm, I'm probably going to bid on a bunch of wise cards tomorrow or whenever this video comes out the next day, and I'm buying a lot. I have... Business is good. Economy is relatively stable for me right now. I'm making a good chunk of money, more money than I made earlier in the year. So I feel like I have that flexibility to eat nicer dinners, to eat out more, and to spend money on card games. But I don't see it as an investment opportunity anymore. I simply do not. Uh, and this is just all card games. MetaZoo, especially MetaZoo and Bankruptcy. Uh, I, I just don't see, like, MetaZoo is, should be a warning sign to a lot of you guys because the MetaZoo crowd, they they hook, line, and sinkered. Uh, they believe the same things that you guys believe about One Piece and Sorcery and all these other card games. In fact, MetaZoo and Flesh and Blood, they were tied very close at the hip together, in my opinion, uh, with Alpha Investments, right? So... At the end of the day, you have a scenario which is pretty, pretty fascinating. Um, you have these card games and relatively new card games. They are being price manipulated, one hundred percent. They're being price manipulated. I don't. You can just look at the graphs and you can see graphs don't look like this when they're actually growth, right? Like a stock doesn't go straight down into oblivion unless the CEO has done something really bad. 
And there's nothing that, at the end of the day, you put money where you want, not where somebody tells you want, because that's your decision. And it feels a lot better if the go, things go down and it's a decision that you made, you're going to feel a lot better. And it's actually going to be an important learning lesson. Hopefully you didn't lose that much money. But when you listen to other people and put your money into MetaZoo, a la Alpha Investments advice, which is now deleted, and he deletes all the videos about MetaZoo, that's the worst feeling. Because you could have put money into Pokemon, which you actually loved, instead of MetaZoo, which you didn't really know very much about or care about. But, hey, the dude on the YouTube said it was a good investment, right? And he's always right. Right? He's always right. Because if he's not right, he can just straight up delete the videos, right? I mean, think about that for a moment. You can just straight up delete the videos if you're wrong. Like Graham Stefan with the Yodo Bank. He still hasn't responded there. Just, hey, man, if you're wrong... No sweat off your back. Just uh, delete that video, and we'll be uh, we'll be ready to go. It's kind of interesting, um, Graham, right? So we have a scenario where the stock market is going up. If if you don't play in the stock market, I probably would say maybe look into it because the things have gone really really well. Like, man, all everything I put money into has gone up. I'm not joking, like significantly up. Now, will this last? Will we get a new president? Yes. Will that affect it? I believe so. But at the time being, I mean, why not enjoy, you know, the up? Up, 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 right? Um, so, I, I think that in the full honesty, right, that... Um, I wouldn't, I mean, I love One Piece. I think it's a great IP. I think it will continue to be a great IP, and that's what's really going for it over, like, Naruto or something, where now they're Boruto or whatever, that One Piece is the longest-running anime or manga series of all time. And I think it will continue until they find the One Piece, which, you know, depending on how long the offer wants to continue, could last maybe another decade. But is it an investment? Is it something I would find I would give you advice to buy, given what happened with Rudy promo 6.9, given what happened with the Flesh and Blood Monarch first edition that was supposed to be investable, right? That was an investable asset with MetaZoo Nightfall, MetaZoo first edition Krypton. None of those things that were pitched as investments are worth any money today, or worth yes, even a even 50, 25 percent of what it what somebody paid for it and that's unfortunate because you could have dumped that money into crypto you could have dumped that money into the stock market and made a shit ton of money if you i mean again look at the s p 500 it's done really really well during that period in time that you were buying meta zoo and one piece and uh the other card games as well i don't know i'm not investing in this stuff anymore i'm just i, I just play for fun <laughs> 